Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I will show you how you can get a residential IP address for very cheap or affordable as compared to a normal VPN. Basically, which are the VPN I'm using? I will say I'm using NordVPN most of the time because NordVPN is very fast. But NordVPN, like any other VPN, is just a data center VPN. If you just want to stream some Netflix movie or stuff like that, I think NordVPN will do the job easily. Now I'm not connected to any VPN, so and this is NordVPN, so if I just click on it, then in just less than three to four seconds i'm connected to a server if i want to switch a server i can do that and that take me about two three seconds so that is very fast for no vpn or any other vpn that you are using it should be this kind of speed but today i want to share with you how you can get a residential ip address and the vpn that i'm going to use is this mysterium vpn Right now on the market, if you want to get a residential IP address, I think Mysterium VPN is one of them and the other one is a uh, Deeper Connect. I'm not going to compare these two because Deeper Connect is promoting themselves as a free VPN for lifetime. Basically, this is a hardware. So you buy the hardware and then you get a lifetime access of VPN for free. But in today, I'm not comparing between these two, I'm just letting you know that Deeper Connect is one of them and the other one will be the Mysterium VPN. For Deeper Connect, you can't, it is not so portable because you need to bring this device with you. So if you're on a move, let's say you are using a mobile phone and you need a residential IP address of a certain country, you can't do that unless you bring this device with you and connect it, power it up with a power bank and connect it to a place. Because for Deeper Connect, they are using a web interface. There's no software to install. So you can't install anything on your mobile phone or on your iPad or tablet. So anyway, you can explore Deeper Connect or you can watch my previous video on Deeper Connect. I used to have this Deeper Connect Pico, but I sold it off because I don't think it suits my need. So what I'm using is Mysterium VPN. But I'm not actually using the Mysterium VPN. I'm using the Mysterium Dark. So what is the difference between these two? Mysterium VPN and Mysterium Dark. Basically, Mysterium Dark is a pay-as-you-go VPN. So this suits me well. Because most of the time, I am using uh, NordVPN, which is a data center VPN, which is fine for me. But occasionally, I need a residential VPN. That's where the Mysterium Duck come in. Because I put a certain amount of credit inside, and then when I need to use it, then you deduct from the credit, and the credit don't expire. So let me launch my... Mysterium Dark VPN. So this is the icon of the Mysterium Dark. One thing about the Mysterium VPN is it takes longer than normal VPN to connect. But if you are just using it occasionally or you need a residential IP address, I think that's fine. Early on, I show you the Nord VPN and it takes about 3 to 4 seconds to connect. And right now, I'm going to connect to a Singapore server and to know whether which server is a residential IP address, you can see from here. If there's an R here, this is a residential IP address. And if there's no R, then this is a data center IP address. Of course, the cost will be different. So the cost to connect to a data center IP address will be much cheaper than a residential IP address. So let me just try once. And you can see how long it takes. Once I click connect, 
then it is going to take much longer than NordVPN or any other VPN. On average, I think it takes about 10 seconds to connect to a VPN. And they will tell you how much is price over here. This is a price. Now, now we are connected to this IP address. Now we are connected to this 175156. And let's check it. 175156, yes. So this is the IP address that we are connected to. And this is from the ISP of M1 Limited. This is a residential IP address. It's either residential or mobile IP address. But anyway, this is considered a residential. And this is not a data center IP address. And if you want, you can disconnect. And then you can choose other IP address of Singapore. There's a lot of residential IP address. These are considered decentralized VPN. It means all the users come together. The person that share the IP address gets some reward when you're using their bandwidth. And for you to connect, you need to pay Mysterium Network a price to connect to the VPN of the other side. So Mysterium act like a middleman. So they probably just have a couple of server and then they don't actually provide the IP address. The IP address is provided by the other end user. They are just a middleman. And then you have all these different country that you want. If you want United States, there's 999, there's 989 IP address. And these are the residential and these are the data center. So I can try to connect to a USA IP address. And like I mentioned, this will take about 10 to 15 seconds to connect. And let me see. So this is taking slightly longer. And now we are connected and let's take a look at the IP address. Where's the IP address over here? This is our 216247. Yes, so we are connected to this. And we are connected to this LLAS network, I believe. This is a residential IP address because I don't live in the United States. I don't know about this ISP. But I'm pretty sure this will be a res residential IP address. And this is the way to get a residential IP address. The next question you will come back is why is there a Mysterium Dark? And why is there a Mysterium VPN 2.0? So every time I launch the Mysterium Dark, it will show me this. And if I click on this, then it bring us to this page over here. That is the Mysterium VPN. When Mysterium Network started, they started as a pay-as-you-go kind of VPN. So now I think they are changing it. I think this IP address is pretty slow. So I'm just going to disconnect first and use my own IP address. So right now they are promoting this Mysterium VPN. And the difference is that, let's look at the pricing here. The difference is that for Mysterium VPN, it go by a monthly or a monthly plan. So the monthly is going to cost you $6.85 per month. And if you go for a yearly plan, it's always cheaper. Sorry, this is a six month plan and this is a one month plan. So for one month, this is going to cost you $9.99. If you subscribe to a six month, this is the amount you pay per month. If you go for yearly, then this is going to cost you $5 per month. And if you go for two years, then this is going to cost you $3.19 per month. So of course, this is going to be more worth it because if you go for a two-year plan, then 
that is going to cost you $76 for two years. Actually, if you were to compare this with a uh, deeper connect, even for the cheapest version of the deeper connect, how much is it going to cost you? It's going to cost you about $199. And with a Mysterium, with the Mysterium VPN, if you go for two years plan, at $76, that could probably give you six years of access. You need to know that in this Web 2.0 or Web 3.0, one year is a lifetime. So a lot of things can change. And probably by the end of six years, you know, this deeper connect Pico will be too old and you need to upgrade to a new hardware. So anyway, I'm not comparing deeper connect and Mysterium for this video. You can check out my video on deeper connect. So this is the Mysterium VPN. They are trying to get you to go to this plan so that you have to pay monthly whether you use it or you don't use it. But what I'm using is uh, Mysterium Dark. They have some kind of hidden this a little bit. Because right now, if I were to go to Google and I were to search for Mysterium. So this is the first website that it come up and it will bring you to this. In order to get the Mysterium Dark, you actually have to search for this. Mysterium Dark, then you will come up with this. And Mysterium Duck is a pay-as-you-go plan. And this is my preferred choice. That's personally for me. Of course, it depends on how much usage you are using. If you need a residential IP address and you are connected 24 by 7, then by all means, go for this plan. And because of this plan, you are able to connect. I think if I'm not wrong, you should be able to connect at least for five devices at the same time and this one has no limit so this is a unlimited plan you should be able to connect at least five devices if I'm not wrong and they support all these kind of devices let's see which device they are supporting they support your mobile phone, whether is it an iPhone or Android phone, Mac, Windows. So they support all these kind of platform. So if you are using a mobile phone on the move and you want to, you need a residential IP address, you can go for it. And let me just go to the Google Play Store. And I'm going to go to the apps. This will be the same for iOS. If I were to search for Mysterium, so we have this Mysterium Dark. So if I wanted to install it on my mobile phone, I will install this one. And if you are subscribing to the Mysterium VPN, you'll be using this one. So that is how you can get a residential IP address very cheap. And in fact, this can be very anonymous because if I want to top up, right now I have 23.18 miss. This is not in dollar form because this is considered their kind of token. So they call it a miss, M-Y-S-T. And 23.18 doesn't equate to $23. In fact, it is less than that. So if I were to click on this one, so basically it give me a rough count at 23 minutes. I can watch 265 hours of online video and then online music. And if I were to download anything, that will give me 243 gigabyte. If I were to go for web browsing, it will give me 3,600 hours of web browsing. So to top up, we can choose over here to top up. And if you were to top up by cryptocurrency, then this will be totally anonymous. 
you can top up by miss i don't know how this work miss is probably if you have a if you run a mysterium network node that means you are sharing your ip address with other people then you can choose this option otherwise you can use cryptocurrency if you want to stay anonymous because i'm not doing anything funny so i usually use credit card to top up it doesn't matter to me because and you can choose to top up three dollar ninety nine five forty nine or nine forty nine these are the amount that you can choose i usually take the five forty nine and that give me if i'm not wrong that give me about 20 minutes since the first video that i released on mysterium network that is two years three years ago in 2022 and i've only top up once from 2022 to 2025 right now i've only top up this thing one time but to be fair i don't use mysterium network every day i use it occasionally if i need a residential ip address so why do i need a residential ip address why would somebody want a residential IP address when I already have no VPN? Because certain thing you want to register, maybe you need to register a new Gmail account, a new Facebook account. Some of the data center IP address is not good for that. And some data center IP address actually get blocked. That is when Mysterium Network actually play a part in this to get a residential IP address. But there could be other purpose that you want a residential IP address. That's totally up to you. In this video, I'm just sharing with you how you can get a residential IP address for very cheap. And this is the one that I'm using, Mysterium VPN. So whether you go for a dark version or you go for the VPN version, that is totally, totally up to you. I'll put the link in the description. This is a normal version that you pay monthly or yearly. And this is the Mysterium Dark that is a pay as you go. If you're not sure whether to go for Mysterium Dark or Mysterium VPN, then by all means, always go for the Mysterium Dark first because this is a pay as you go. And to start off, you can just Top up. To start off, you can always just top up. I think with three forty nine, three ninety nine. Sorry. So to start off, you can always just try it at under four dollar, and then if this suit you and you are using it twenty four by seven on three to five device, then go for this plan. I hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video do give me a like and thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel thank you and i will see you on the next video